Welcome. This presentation demonstrates the EasyFlow CSV discharging procedure. Follow this procedure accurately for maximum efficiency and safety when using the EasyFlow CSV high containment transfer system. It will help to remember these key points. The EasyFlow CSV is a two-part active-passive transfer system. To guarantee containment, both passive and active are interlocked and cannot be opened until the passive is correctly docked into the active. Trying to force any operation without the passive correctly docked into the active could damage the active cassette. First, carefully load the filled charge bag with its gripper and tamper evidence security tie in place onto the support stand with the ID label facing forwards. The charge bag handle has holes to support the bag evenly. At this point, the charge bag should be loaded onto the support stand with the passive still undocked. Next, insert the front of the passive under the lip of the active and then push the rear of the passive down flat. Now, the rear toggle marked number one on the CSV active can be fully turned to release the interlocks. The next operation is to pull out the red handle marked number two. This removes the active and passive sliders. The removal of the two sliders has left a void in the system which the next operation deals with. Fully raising the two red side toggles marked number three removes this void by lowering the active cassette onto the active spigot and creating a contained seal. The red tamper evident security tie must then be removed. The gripper on the charge bag, marked as number four, can now be removed and product can now flow freely through the full bore aperture. The gripper must not be removed until the first three operations have been correctly completed. Doing so could flood the system and cause a failure in the containment performance. Before removing the charge bag, first manipulate it to ensure any residual materials are fully discharged. Then fold down the charge bag prior to removal. You then simply reverse the docking process. Lower the red side toggles marked number three. Push back the front red handle marked number two. Fully turn the rear red toggle marked number one to its unlock position. Now the charge bag can be lifted clear of the active and bagged for safe disposal.